Uh, it's been such an awesome time in Hawaii, Oscar. So stoked you came up. And the M2O, yeah, it's such an iconic event. I love it. I've been involved for a while. I think that was my seventh effort in the M2O. I got really addicted to foiling through kiting, but then, you know, Kai and a bunch of the guys here opened up the downwind foiling potential. And I was like, hey, I'm going to that. I came to Maui. I tried to race downwind here or just ride downwind on a foil. And the foils were all massive then. And the boards were too short and too wide and a lot of things wrong, but it was just such a great challenge. And I, you know, did the Nepali race in 2017 and that was just epic fun as well. Just really at the start when people didn't even know if you could do it mm, on the foil. Yeah. And previously I'd done it on race up, downwind unlimited boards, and then 2018 the foil. And that year was epic. It was the first year the foil was in there. It was just me, Kai, Annie, four or five others. And didn't even know if we were gonna make it. I made it just after getting beatings in the channel because it is hard, it's far, right? Kai smoked it in, I don't know, three hours or something that year. And it's just so special to bring all these endurance athletes. Like Kai Lenny at the start said, yeah, it's kind of a sprint race, but it's still a two hour 20, you guys did two hours 20 or so. Yeah. Um, that's not really a sprint in most <laughs> sports, you know? But this time the gear was much better. And we've been working on our, our downwind race foil gear for over six months, doing some really cool science. We're digging into it like we did with the performance mask, the MA foils. And yeah, for you, Oscar, the M2O, like why did you come? Why are you doing it? Why did you put in all the hard yards? Like, what is it about this event? I mean, it's, it is the most iconic downwind event on the planet. There's a reason it's the world championships. It has the most legacy, prestige, everything. So for me, when it was one race that you want to focus on, M2O is the one you're going for, so. And it's hard, like it's not a traditional like downwind course. It's quite right hand. You've got to head far across the wind to get to Oahu. There's currents going north, there's currents going south. It's really strategic. So it's a really big challenge, which is exciting. Yeah. And like, what were you feeling when you got there on Molokai like the night before everyone gathering together Jamie Mitchell past 10 times winner just like you know giving you the I don't know yeah. what were you feeling for me it was it was somewhat emotional you hear about the original guys that did the race like the respect they have for that channel the respect those guys have for the ocean in general is it was it was quite a humbling experience it was just you kind of realize how serious that crossing is it's, it's no joke you got to take it seriously and you got to be prepared physically mentally everything we're all training as hard as we can. We're tuning gear. We're working on all the like the quarter, like the point one percenters. That's what makes the difference across the channel, and that's what you got to do. So on the way here, I was actually shouting at Nate. He was flying a drone. He's actually probably getting a great shot from the boat. And I was like, "Bro, move the camera over there!" And I go, <laughs> Crash my foil straight through my paddle while I was shouting. <laughs> so we're getting these buffed up to 3,000. And that's going to have to do. And then it's just up to me to find, to find the bump to get going on. Anyone that finishes, whether you're human powered wing, I mean, the prone stock class is oh. hardcore. Those guys were like five, six, seven, eight hours. Some of them just like stroke after stroke, which is the original. Like those were the original hardcore yeah. from 97 that started off this event. 24th year this time, 24th event. And it's just amazing to be there with all sorts of caliber of athlete from around the world, just putting themselves to the test. That's really what it's about. This is Mike Murphy's yeah. goop, we call it. So Mike used to do this when he was competing in his air chair, and he reckoned he got a little more air, a little less drag on his rig. So this gig is all about less drag today, for sure. I'm doing it because I just <laughs> want to make sure I get up on foil, not too far behind the rest of the pack because the top guys will be up and gone. The top five guys are all super good. Oscar's in that field, which is great. Um, and yeah, they'll be up and gone off the line, whether there's bumps or not. I need bumps to get going, so. I am gonna take any little gain I can, get rid of any little bit of excess drag, so hopefully I can pop them on foil early. So going into it, I kind of knew that 
game play or the strategy was you had to flat water start, and I think pretty much most of the field did. Once you flat water start though, which is hard in itself, you've got no bumps, which means you're just pumping straight out to sea, waiting for some bumps to develop as that fetch gets longer and longer. And that was probably physically one of the hardest parts. I think mentally, probably the worst warm up you can have for any race to just go sprint flat out and then just pumping for miles out. I think it was probably... Well, the wind dropped, right? Like yeah. literally on the day before the Saturday, the wind was cranking. The Monday again, the wind was cranking. Sunday the race, the wind was probably one of the lighter days we've had since we've been here. So it was really technical bump reading. And especially at the start, the wind, there was not a lot of assist for the first couple of miles. I actually paddled for the first mile. I was like, yeah. I'm not really a flat water pumper. I was like, okay, I'm gonna paddle the first mile till I get to some bumps. But I watched the top group with you in it just charging ahead. And I think a few people burned themselves out before they even got to the wind. But everyone had been training here on Maui, it's super hard, it's so windy that you get really into your smaller foils. And, and I actually probably took a slightly smaller foil. We've been developing these downwind race foils the last six months. In the last month, we made a couple of new protos. We've been putting them through their paces and we're really excited with the latest one. But for me, it's, it's kind of a smallish foil, but once you're up, it's easy to keep up and super fast, but it needs, for me, energy to get it up. I can't pump it up. And I actually think maybe some of the guys like me took maybe too small a foil because to be competitive, if you're not on a small foil, you're not gonna be as fast in the bumps. But it's so difficult this race because you gotta yeah. get to the bumps in the flat water first. So hats off to everyone that pumped out to the wind line, like you, James, all those top crew, like just crazy physical sprint energy. And then you've got, you know, a couple of hours after that yeah. to like hammer down and, and keep focus and not crash because you lose so far if you crash. So it's a balance between having a really fast foil and something that you can ride in the bumps and manage. All the way in, I think the bigger foil for the day on the light winds, that was the call. It was the right call and definitely I'm stoked and it's, with what it's we another got. reason why it's so technical, these challenges, you know, these channel races in Hawaii is because the wind bends and wraps around the mountains with Haleakala here on Maui it wraps the wind down the North Shore, and that's why it's so famous, the Maliko run here. It, you know, it's always windy on the North Shore pretty much because of the wrap around the mountain, but in the middle of the Kaivi, it's 32 miles, so you're a long way from the land and the wind drops. You don't get that Venturi around the islands, and then it builds up again when you get to Oahu, but at a slightly different angle because it wraps around the mountains on Oahu. And in the middle this year, because the wind dropped during the day, it was so light in the middle like i think it was you know maybe even 10 or 15 knots max at times and if you came off foil the swell there was plenty of swell though there's a lot of built up ocean swell so there's a lot of energy to run but when you came off foil, i came off a couple of times too many and i really struggled to get back on foil because the fast energy was moving past us and you know the little bumps which what i needed to pop up which i'm used to in downwinding weren't there so it was really difficult but super fun challenge. And that's the challenge with designing a foil for that sort of thing. You need enough bottom end to get up and that's where you really got to analyze the data and look at what are you optimizing the foil for. And these foils we've been developing really were optimized for the fast bump so that the section had just glide to project you into the super fast big swells that are going, you know, fast, like 20 knots. But you still needed to get it up and pump it out. But yeah, these foils are gonna make their way out to the market. There'll be a limited edition downwind race foil set up. And that's for people that wanna really push themselves and go fast and have got the skills to do it. Just to be involved with this whole sport has been wild. It's been such an adventure and to come away battling it out with guys that I looked up to and I've, you know, reasons I got it in it. Kyle Lenny is one of the reasons I got into foiling, some of the clips that he originally put out and to then go toe to toe with him in the world champs and, and take him on that day, it feels pretty special. So I'm stoked and I'm so thankful with Armstrong, all the boys for taking me or bringing me out on this trip and just the good times we've had.
no epic effort like you know first time out that's pretty impressive man i oh, appreciate it it's it's all in the foil as much as you know we've it's gone all in through the rider <laughs>